Pro playmakers, these are the skills that separate. Welcome to the first edition of the Pro Playmakers video blog. This is a weekly blog that we're going to do uh, different topics to uh, to describe exactly what young players or, or professional players need to do to improve in certain areas. The first edition is going to be on shot quality. So how do you define shot quality? Well, shot quality is if, whether or not you can legitimately beat a goaltender from 25 plus feet out or have the right combination of pace and deception to create second chance opportunities or a shot recovery opportunity. Um, part of that is related to distance and the ability to, to shoot from uh, a variety of different distances to, to understand what shot uh, it needs to be shot from different types of distances so that you have the right release and the right shot for the right type of situation. Um, biggest thing is knowing the different angles uh, that you want to shoot at, making sure that you have the right angle for the right shot so that you can have second chance opportunities. Um, one of the big big areas of development in recent years has been shot uh, recovery ability. So having an initial shot and then being able to have it dangerous enough or hard enough to handle from the goaltender's perspective that you can get a, a recovered puck and then you can sustain the offense uh, and get multiple shot opportunities in a given sequence. It's very important. Uh, especially at the NHL level because shot differential is such a key uh, at that level in terms of predicting winning and losing. Uh, shot differential is important so the more you can sustain offense and get multiple shot sequences in a given, uh, in a given time is very very important. Um, especially as it contributes to a low high game at that level. Uh, one of the things that, from a player's perspective, that you need to work on most importantly is deception. Uh, not enough players have deceptive shots. They don't understand how to create a deception in their shot. And so that's one of the things that we work on here with all of our players is creating deception in shots. So how do you do that? Well, you have to change the angle of the puck. You've got to make sure that you don't shoot in the same line that the puck is, it originates from, that you're moving it in towards your skates or you're pushing it out away so that the shot release point is unpredictable from the goaltender's perspective. It also allows you to shoot uh, through traffic, which is a very, very important part. Not a lot of players are willing to shoot through traffic, yet it's such a great opportunity to get, especially for recovery pucks where the goalie can't quite see it, he just gets a piece on it, he's just knocking it down. It allows us to get that, re that puck recovery to sustain offense. Um, and, the, and the biggest thing that we work on here in terms of dis creating deception is shooting in stride. The ability to shoot off of either foot, the inside foot or the outside foot, while your feet are still moving. So that the goaltender has a difficult time reading or defensemen have a hard time reading when you're going to release the puck. So it's harder for the defenseman to block the shot and the goalie has a difficult time predicting what angle he needs to be at in order to, to, in order to shut down uh, your shooting opportunities in front of the net. This is one of the drills that we do here with our NHL guys, which is a great drill uh, to teach uh, the player how to change the angle of the shot and create some deception. And you can see as the player is trying to find a way in which he can get that puck through the hole of, that the two nets create, it also creates a lot of deception where the goalie's concerned. He doesn't know where it is. Now, now we got three nets, so there's multiple holes. And as you can see, the goalie is really struggling trying to find a way to pick the puck up as well as trying to get an opportunity to, uh, to stop the puck. In closing, the biggest thing that you can do as a player in terms of understanding shot quality is know that not every shot you're going to shoot is designed to score. You're not necessarily trying to score on every shot. Some shots you're trying to create a second chance opportunity. You're trying to create a sustained offense opportunity, but you're trying to create it by creating shots at the net. And, and, uh, and know that how important it is to be deceptive in what it is that you're doing.